Cheryl Tweedy's business account remains in the red despite hints of a comeback. Cheryl Tweedy, former member of the successful girl group Girls Aloud and judge on The X Factor, has recently found her business account in the red for the second consecutive year. Despite her recent resurgence on the West End stage and her hints at a musical comeback, her company, CC Entertainment, based in London and established by Cheryl in 2009, reported losses of £1.35 million in the most recent published accounts. These figures represent a slight decrease from the previous year when the company was in debt by £1.46 million. While Cheryl, at 40 years old, remains a household name due to the massive success of Girls Aloud and her regular role as a judge and mentor on The X Factor, her pop music career has experienced a downturn in recent years. Her last single, Let You, was released in 2019 and reached only number 57 on the UK chart. Her last album, Only Human, was released almost a decade ago in 2014. In more recent times, Cheryl has pursued an alternative career path on the London stage, earning acclaim for her performances. She won plaudits and reportedly earned £1,000 a night for her three-month stint in 222 A Ghost Story. Cheryl also dabbled in acting, playing herself in the Hollywood movie, What to Expect When You're Expecting, and taking on a small role as a cutthroat music agent in the 2020 film, Four Kids in It. Additionally, she served as a judge on the BBC show, The Greatest Dancer, in 2019 before the show was cancelled in 2020 after two series. However, Cheryl has hinted at a potential pop music comeback by launching a new company, Let's Go Eskimo, alongside her former Girls Aloud bandmates Kimberly Walsh, Nicola Adams, and Nadine Coyle. The company, named after a lyric from Girls Aloud's hit, Love Machine, was launched in September and is designed to handle any financial earnings generated by the band. Girls Aloud disbanded in 2013, but their reunion performance last October at a charity ball for their former bandmate Sarah Harding fueled speculation about a possible return. Sarah Harding tragically passed away at the age of 39 in 2021 after battling breast cancer. The band organized the Primrose Ball to raise funds for the Christie NHS Foundation Trust and Cancer Research UK as part of the Sarah Harding Breast Cancer Appeal. Reflecting on Harding's untimely death during the event on October 8, 2022, Cheryl stated, To be honest, I've never experienced or anticipated this grief. You know, I've lost grandparents and a friend when I was younger, but nothing like this. She described the feelings of shock, disbelief, and helplessness that lingered and emphasized how the loss brought the band members closer together. Speaking exclusively to Mail Online in January, Cheryl explained that the loss of Sarah Harding reminded her not to take any days for granted and deepened her bond with Nicola Roberts, Nadine Coyle, and Kimberly Walsh. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your support and hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with new content.